everyone, King Edgy here bringing you another Gen 1 video. Uh, we are reclimbing that ladder, trying to get up to the top spot. We left off last time having just cracked the top 10, which we're feeling alright about. Uh, and now we're going to try to crack the top 5, that'll be our goal for this video. So let's see how it goes. We've got Nido Queen against her daughter Nidorina. Uh, and I'm thinking it's time for the princess to take over here. Just a nice blizzard to freeze up that queen. Wow, that did nothing. <laughs> uh, so that's all right. We'll try the body slam Just in case Nido Queen decides to not earthquake this turn. Maybe body slam us, maybe for some reason, or maybe go blizzard and miss. Uh, we can try to pick up the paralysis, but really our plan is to let Cedra in, get the KO after Nidorina goes down. But we'll see. We'll see what she's got in mind here. I guess it would be wild if the queen switched out, right? I, I don't know. That doesn't really make any sense to me, but maybe, maybe that's a thing that could happen. Nope, totally fine. Out comes Cedra. Now let's hope Cedra takes out the queen. Here's the deal. Our team's garbage. Uh, and we've really got two ways that we can win this. We get pincer in and pincer swords dances, and there's no one that can really stop it. Or we get ditto in to transform, and level 88 ditto just kind of takes over the game. So we'll just go for the safe surf. Okay, Kingler comes out. That's fine. It's not great, but it's not terrible. Which is kind of the definition of fine. Um, and I guess I'm going to surf again. Take him down to half. I think he'll body slam. Gets a crit. That's not great. We're going to surf again. The problem is Cedra's really our only answer for Nido Queen, but we can't really switch it out because nothing can come into Kingler. But and take out Kingler with these surfs, so great. <laughs> and you're seeing already why our team is bad. We've got no one that can switch in to basically anything that he's got here. He might go Seismic Toss here, but thankfully he doesn't. Uh, and we will, I think, go Body Slam, just in case. Dang, Body Slam was the super wrong move there. Okay, well... Dang, uh, Earthquake would have done like half. Mm. Zubat's our only good switch in because he could go Body Slam or Blizzard. Decides to go Body Slam. That's too bad. And we lose our Confusion ability, especially when we're fully paralyzed. Son of a gun. Uh, and now the question is, are you worth... Are you worth the ditto? Ditto can come in. Transform into Wigglytuff, get paralyzed by Wigglytuff, probably win the one-on-one -on -one matchup with Wigglytuff, but then what? We've got four in the back, or Pinsir can come out, Swords Dance, knock out the Wigglytuff, and then hopefully just keep knocking everything else out. Gosh, this is tough. Haha, <laughs> it's Wigglytuff even. Um... I'm going to go Pinsir. Uh, Ditto might have been the right move, but because I have no one on my team who can paralyze anything, Electabuzz is always going to be faster than Pinsir, and because of that, I feel like Pinsir has less of a chance of sweeping than Ditto could. So let's see. Yeah, we get paralyzed just like we thought. And we get one body slam, and that should be it. Okay, so not so bad. I expect Electabuzz here, right? And I'm just gonna keep hyper beaming. Oh wow. Here we go. Okay. Pincer. Cannot be stopped. Will not be stopped. Nido Queen comes out. Guess what? Hyper beam. Oh, son of a gun. Oh, come on now. A little bit lucky there. But that's okay. We can surf, pick up the knockout on Nido Queen. Got Horsey. 
All right, so we're gonna smoke screen horsey and hope that it prevents it from hitting us. Dang. This is not great. This is not great. Oh my goodness, this is not great. We need the freeze. We need the freeze and only the freeze. And we're done. We have lost. Like for sure we have lost. Holy cow, did we lose this one bad. Wow, we lost this one so bad. I mean, I know our team was not that good, but geez. Yeah, I mean, what could we have done? Nothing. Come on, bro. That was... That was terrible. Not played well by us, and... And we lost it. Yeah, we really lost that one. Well, all right. So that knocks us out of the top 10. It even knocks us all the way down, probably back to 15, where we were at the start of last video. Very unfortunate. Um, we've got Tauros here. What's Tauros going to do? Maybe Earthquake. We're going to go to Execute. Yep, we're going to go Execute and hope that that works out okay. We get Bonnie slammed. Cool. I think we survived the blizzard, so safe to go sleep powder. That body slam was a nice play by William there. Um, expecting that we'd switch out Kabutops, which is not a given. I mean, Earthquake's a three hit KO on Kabutops, so there is a decent chance we stay in there. Um, and now, what'll we do? I think we just Psychic. I think it's like a fine play. His special fell. And because of that, I'm actually going to stun Spore this turn, thinking that William might switch Tauros out. <sighs> you know, just one time, right? So Flareon comes out, but can't do anything to Kabutops. Even though Kabutops is a physical attacker, Slash is always a crit, so... We're in pretty nice shape here, and we're not going to risk anything. We're just going to slash. There we go. Doesn't quite do half, which is too bad. I was hoping it would do a little more than half, or just around half, and then Hyper Beam would clean up the rest, but that's okay. Gosh, that really did less than I thought. I'm just going to check... Uh, yeah. Slash does 42 to 50. Okay, so the fact that I did 43 was like a pretty low roll. I thought it would have done closer to 50, but that's okay. What do I do now? I just go to execute. Um, yep, no questions asked. Oh my goodness, that knocked me out. Holy cow. Um, I kind of expected that Bulbasaur was going to go for Sleep Powder there because um, with Tauros he went for Body Slam he made the prediction that I would switch so I thought he'd expect me to expect the switch again and so so he'd put me to sleep but I realize that that's silly because Razor Leaf just knocks me out. So um, I guess I'm going to Hyper Beam. Dang, it goes Blastoise. That's fine. It's not a big deal. Um, we get a lot of damage off on Blastoise. He misses a Hydro Pump, which is super lucky. Um, and now we can just go Body Slam from here, hopefully. Oh, a nice crit. This rat's doing work. Another Body Slam take out the rest of the way here though I might expect a switch to Tauros with our sleeper knocked out he might be feeling like 
Okay, Tauros can handle everything. And no one else on our team can put any one of his to sleep. Which obviously, William doesn't know for sure, but could be what's going through his mind. Hard to know, hard to know. I'm kind of expecting the Flareon to come out here and then potentially a double switch into the Bulbasaur. That's what I'm thinking about right now. But Golem comes out. And this is fine. Kabutops is just so good against this team. Flareon can't do anything. He one-shots Golem. Um, Taurus is asleep, so no problem. So I guess the play is to go... Um, to get this Golem down where uh, Raticate's Blizzard will knock it out. So I'm going to switch out into Lickitung, just because it can take an Earthquake fine. It can hit back with an Earthquake of its own. And actually, this is like crazy nice because if Golem stays in, we get to bring Kabutops out. And now, if he switches to Bulbasaur to eat the Surf, we can still knock it out. Um, with our following slash. So we're in really good shape here. We're gonna just surf, do some damage to whoever is in. I expect Golem to switch out, but we'll see what happens. And we wanted to keep Raticate because Raticate's fast. We need someone kind of fast. That was kind of an unfortunate critical hit, actually, because now Bulbasaur can come in and that's not what we wanted to see. We super need Kabutops. Super need Kabutops. Kabutops is our win condition here. Uh, does he just go for Razor Leaf again? I think the answer is yes. So I think we go into Machamp. We eat the Razor Leaf. Does he now go for Sleep Powder? I think the answer again is yes but there's not much we can do about it. So I think we just stay in and body slam. Oh, we missed the sleep powder. Let's go. Okay, so he missed the sleep powder. So now Kabutops can just kind of run shop here. Um, we're gonna stick with body slam. Oh my goodness. Too lucky. That was too lucky. Um, kind of balances out with the crit, because if we got the Swords Dance off on a Sleeping Tauros, then it was just one-shot city. Uh, we're going to try for the Paralysis here. We don't get it first turn. We'll try for it again. We get it second turn. Okay. And that's about right. I mean, if if it's one in three chance that Body Slam paralyzes, well, it's a 30% chance Body Slam paralyzes. So with two Body Slams, um, it's a 51% uh, chance that one of them will paralyze after two uses. Um, at this point, I guess Onyx makes the most sense. Earthquake knocks him out. No one wants to switch into an Earthquake. Kabutops also would have been good, but if Flareon managed to paralyze Kabutops, then we'd, we'd be in some trouble. So Onyx is really quite good here. And, okay, Flareon comes out. I was going to say, um, if Golem came out, I was going to... Oh my gosh, Onyx knocked something out? Wow. Knock two things out. Onyx, can you get all three? This would be unreal. I don't think you can. Look, that's but it's super effective damage. Just 36% to go. Um, I was expecting um, Golem to come out, actually, because so, it could handle Onyx. And if that were the case, I was going to switch to Raticate, let Raticate go down, and then 
Kabutops comes in, and now he can't switch out Golem. And so we pick one up there. So here we go. Rising through the ranks. Like I said, we were eighth. We definitely fell off the top ten from our first battle. Um, probably ending up around 15th. And after that second battle, hopefully back in the top 10, but we'll see. Now we're going up against Prussian Jaeger here. And our team is fair. Um, again, if Scyther can set up, that's pretty good. Starmie's great. Clefairy's good. Um, and Cubone's nice coverage. So I think we'll just go Mock here. We can eat a body slam pretty nicely. Delicious body slam. Um, and what should we do? So body slam did 23. I'm just going to check out how much the old uh, hyper beam does. If pincer is at plus 2. <clears throat> so it still might not knock us out. On the other hand, how much does muck sludge do? Sludge does about half, so I can probably get off two sludges no matter what. Let's try it. He goes Marowak. It's too bad. But we've got Cubone for this situation. And here's one another situation of mother versus child. We had Nita Queen versus Nita Rena in the last one. Now we've got Cubone versus Marowak. Um, and I don't know what to expect here, but I guess Blizzard is the safest move. Can get, get the freeze one time? No. Okay. Totally fine. Nice double switch there. Um, I was too scared of letting Cubone go, so no big deal. Um, now we have to think a little bit harder. Then we might like to. I'm gonna Thunder Wave. I think he's going to Body Slam again. He does. It doesn't get the crit, but it does get the paralysis, which is unfortunate. Uh, but so be it. Um, I've seen a couple of his Pokemon at this point, and I feel like, you know what? Um, sea King, I can recover up on and be just fine. So that's what we'll try to do here is just chip down Pinsir a little bit. Pincer is very scary, as you well know. And Pincer gets the paralysis off, which is not cool. Oh, it dances up. That's an interesting play. I guess he really wants me to knock out Pincer, though I'm not totally sure why. Um, but maybe not. That was... I, I don't... I'm not totally following that. Um, but I think we can go Clefairy here, and I'm just going to check to make sure that Clefairy can knock out, uh, this pincer no matter what. Thunderbolt does a minimum of 27. How much does Body Slam do? A minimum of 22. Body Slam is always safer, just in case. <coughs> Ooh! Excuse me. Uh, now we've got Vile Plume here. What's Vile Plume gonna do? It could put us to sleep. It could stun spore us. I'm not sure. Could just go for the Mega Drain. Um, I think I'm gonna go Sing. Oh, we missed the Sleep Powder. And we got the Sing! That's too much luck. Holy cow, that's too much luck. Okay. But we're in it now. We're like ready now. Oh, we're no longer ready. <laughs> Son of a gun. Okay. Well, we went for it and it didn't pay off. Um, so now what are we going to do? Is so we're going to let Cubone get put to sleep. Okay. And then go back to Clefairy while he swords dances. Which is not great. Um, file Plume. Takes about half from Blizzard. So another Body Slam seems like our best strategy here. 
don't get the paralysis. That's too bad, because now Clefairy is in range for most attacks. Um, I was kind of hoping to get the paralysis with that body slam, but so be it. All right, the luck swings both ways now. That quick wake up was tough. Okay, so out comes Rattata. And I don't know what to do against this thing. Um, let Cubone go. Fairy's faster than Marowak, so it's, it's pretty nice. Um, I guess I'll come into Cubone here. Take the body slam. Hope he misses a blizzard and wake up. He goes for another body slam. He doesn't want to risk missing anything. Now he goes for the blizzard. Makes total sense. We're going to go Muck here. And he's got this Marowak that Muck does not care. Or the, sorry. He's got this Marowak that does not care about Muck at all. Right? Doesn't even care a little bit about Muck. So question is, do I double switch? And I think the answer is no. I mean, I think he's going to switch into Marowak, but it's a little too risky for me to switch and lose Clefairy. He goes into Sea King. Okay. That's not terrible. Um, to me, that means that uh, Sea King can knock out Starmie with two double edges from this health. Let's just confirm. Sea King's double edge is a minimum of around 30. So it might not be able to, but if it knows Hyper Beam, then it definitely will. So I'm going to stay in and Mega Drain. Oh, he gets a crit? Come on, dude. Give us a crit right back, right? Gee whiz. Um, okay. So Mega Drain only does 16%, which is not enough. We needed it to do a little more. Um, I guess we sacrifice Clefairy so that Starmie can come in and recover. Wow, that was the high end of the spectrum there on Double Edge, but he might think because of that that it knocks me out. Uh, yep, I I felt like I was in a bad spot there, but that's okay. Um, I'm okay with this. Uh, my hope is that he goes, okay, he goes Marowak. My hope was that he went Rattata, but he doesn't. But that lets me come into Mach and explode. Okay. And now, our question. Should Scyther Swords dance, or should Scyther Slash? I think Scyther, Scyther should Slash. And I guess I should have checked Marowak versus Rattata who does more, and actually they do about the same with Blizzard. From Rattata, it's 46 to 55, and from Marowak, it's uh, 46 to 55. So Marowak actually did a little bit more. Uh, Hyper Beam at plus two definitely knocks out Rattata, so that's what we'll do, and hope that it works out. Hope that he misses. Oh, it gets us frozen. Come on, dude. Unfortunate. I don't know who his last was, but probably slower than Scyther and potentially a one-hit KO. So, sad finish for us here. Sad finish for us here. And uh, that's that. So, once again, we fall out of the top ten. It's been a real up-and-down situation over the past few videos, but next time... We're going clean sweep one, two, three. That's my plan. So thanks for watching. 
Um, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.